Well, being a pet parent is definitely rewarding, but it comes with its struggles. With some of the most common pet owner troubles and some solutions to them is someone from our pet posse. We have animal behaviorist Wendy Ma with us this morning, along with Brody. Good morning. Good morning. And of course, Brody, part of our pet posse as well. He's the cutest. Thank you. Okay, so I love this. So we're actually going to be talking about, you know, questions that people have actually asked and need answers to. So the first one, and this is a problem. Uh, my dog eats her poop. How can I make her stop? <laughs> that doesn't sound too pleasant. No, but it is a common question, actually. Yeah. Uh, it's a normal, natural behavior that they do. We don't mm, care for it because eh, not so appealing, and we definitely don't want to be kissed by them after they've no. eaten their poop. <laughs> the, the very first, the very simplest solution might be to go talk to their veterinarian. Um, the veterinarians have a powder that they can um, give to you and you just sprinkle it on the dog's food and it changes the chemistry as mm -hmm. they ingest it and then poop it out and it makes it unappealing. However, they do have to eat the poop to find out now it doesn't taste so good. Um, and if that helps and it's done, great. Simple solution. If not, people have to understand that there's a lot of reasons for eating the poop and one could be boredom. Mm -hmm. So, you, you know, people who have dogs who've tried the forbid, you know, get out with your dog, exercise it more physically, walking, going to the beach, doing things physical with the dog, and then also stimulate their minds. Teach them something new. Okay. And so then, you know, now they're not bored, so they're not looking for stuff to do. Okay, hopefully. <laughs> All right, great tip. Okay, the next question is, we just got a new puppy and we have a pool. Do we have anything to worry about with a puppy around a pool? Don't all dogs just naturally know how to swim? They, most dogs do. Okay. The majority of breeds do. The problem is not them swimming. The problem is them learning how to get out mm -hmm. of the pool. That's what actually drowns dogs. They panic because they don't know how to get out of a pool. So people who have pools, whether they're dogs or puppies or older dogs, really should take the time to teach them where the exit is. What I usually do is I'll put the dog on the first step. Mm -hmm. Let them know that while in the water, there's, something, there's somewhere they can find something solid under their feet and then I'll let them hop out. Okay. And then over time, you know, I'll have them come further and further away from that step so they can swim to it and hop out. Okay, that's yeah. a really great tip. I had a golden retriever, and you would think, or at least I thought golden retrievers, you know, great swimmers, but she would march in the water and didn't know, and then they would go straight to the ledge, not yes. going straight for a step. So even though, you know, it makes sense to us to know where to exit, they don't just naturally know that. They, they haven't don't. learned that. No, but if you teach them in one pool, they become pool savvy. They uh -huh. start to learn how. But yes, they will go to that wall, that closest thing, and they'll struggle, and they'll exhaust themselves, right. and that's what will drown. Them. It can be dangerous. Yes. Okay. The next question is, how long does it take before training is done with your dog in general to have, with you dog in general all around sense? Oh. I don't know. I, I think I get the, just the <laughs> question. Basically, I think what they're asking is, how long does it take to train their dog? Right, right. Um, I think so. <laughs> you know, it's a lifelong process. It's not, training is not an event that happens in a day or a week. Right. It's, it's a process that happens over time and as the dog matures, it changes, so you may have to work on something else. Um, in the general sense, I would say people should really put a concerted effort into working with their dogs for at least the first couple of years before they kind of cruise the rest of their lives with the dog. Right. But um, it's a process and um, you know, Brody's, he's starting to mellow out, but if I don't get him out and I don't teach him something new, he starts to go a little stir-crazy himself. Yeah. Yeah. Which makes sense. Okay, and then real quick, we have just a quick amount of time, but sure. is it too early to be starting about talking about the holiday season no. for dogs? No, no, okay. no, especially um, New Year's Eve, the fireworks, the firecrackers. Yes. Start now. Everybody thinks, oh, it's August. I have plenty of time. No, you don't. No, you don't, because you have to do this gradually. Um, suggestion? Get a CD, firecrackers, fireworks, put that on very, yeah. very soft in the background. Have another player that's playing some nice soft music, soothing music, up a little louder. And over the days and the weeks, um, 
you know, swap it out. Right. Bring up the volume of the firecrackers and the fireworks and bring down the volume of the, the soothing music. Right. Again, because training takes time. It takes All time. All right. Well, thank you so much for You're joining welcome. us and answering those questions.